Uh, hi guys, welcome to Football with Brownie. Hope you're well, keeping safe, keeping each other safe and spreading that love right across the world. Okay, okay, Joey Barton. Joey, Joey Barton. He uh, caused a storm on uh, uh, social media today. Uh, this is what he said on, on his Twitter uh, stroke X account. Now, that was the only one uh, he said about the same topic. Um, he'd done about five or six uh, different tweets. Uh, but the the attention it got was incredible, actually. Um, so much so that uh, Piers Morgan had it, or had him, on the Uncensored show tonight on Talk TV. Uh, this is what... Um, he had to say I think is is inappropriate is it because they have not played the game at the highest level of men's football no Pete Piers as you know with me I'll never not answer the question um no it's absolutely not that it's about as I say you, you have to be there on merit like you can't you can't be there to to fit this woke agenda that we've currently got going on in society um you know, there's, you don't have to have played the game. You know, lots of managers haven't played the game at a, at a high level. Lots of good commentary people haven't played the game at a high high level. Kind of Mark Chapman, Rory Smiths of this world. Um, but they've earned the right via, you know, hard work and uh, over a prolonged period to get into that space. Obviously, it helps to talk about the men's game. If you've played that men's game, the higher the level, arguably the better, because it gives you a unique experience. There's a lot of similarities between both sports peers, absolutely no danger in that. But the men's game is just played at a completely different speed with a completely different skill set needed. You know, and for someone to stand there and say, I would have done this in this situation, or he's made a mistake there, who have no experience of that. Um, and, and it's not just one or two, it's it's been taken over, um, you know, and it ruins the experience for, for most men. And it's the men's game. And I feel, I don't, I don't want to come across as sexist, I'm absolutely not. I've got a wonderful daughter, a wonderful wife, my grandmother, a big matriarch. I want women at men's games, you know, at Bristol Rovers, we had Hair Game 2 and it's a great initiative to get women in the stadiums. But if we're going to talk about the technical nuances of, of elite level football and we want to educate the audience, which is the punditry, co-commentary role, then we, we must do that with the most credible people, not people who tick boxes or fill quotas. OK, then, uh, in the meaning of balance, I suppose, uh, Piers then gets uh, female uh, commentators uh, onto the show and Bianca Westwood. As who is it? kinds of opinions, any particular credence, but the way in which he tweeted, especially calling out the young girl, the vlogger from Manchester City, I just thought it was out of order because I've been on the, the wrong end of dogs abuse when I very first started reporting. And it, 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 it didn't sit well with me. This is a young girl. She's on social media. She's not presenting Newsnight. She's not saying she's an expert in football. She's there because... Viewers of football are changing. We're getting more streamers. We're getting more influencers. And, and that's, that's a different argument entirely. So that's particularly the reason why I didn't like what he said. But who is qualified to speak on football then? Because I've been watching the game for over 40 years. My first game at West Ham was before Joe Barton was even born. Um, I've been watching the game the whole time. I've watched hours and hours and hours of football. I worked behind the scenes at Sky for 10 years before I was even given a shot on camera, watching many of my male colleagues who were probably not always as good as I was, getting chances that I was never given. So I don't really understand exactly what you need to know. How long do we need to work in the game behind the scenes before we're allowed on, on camera? To be a pundit, you know, the laws are the same. I can read a game of football. Emma Hayes, Serena Wiegmann can both read games of football. Are you saying that they can't provide insight? It sounds to me like Joey's got a problem with particular female pundits who, to his knowledge, haven't done enough in the game. But how does he know? And, and how do, do we quantify and qualify that? Because there are EFL players who are commenting, co-coms, 
being pundits on Champions League games. What level do you have okay. to get to before you're allowed, as far as Joey Barton is concerned, to be able to be a pundit on the men's game? And this is the tweet Bianca Westwood uh, was on about uh, regarding the Man City vlogger. Tonight's Champions League group stage game against Leipzig. Now, when we were over in Leipzig at the beginning of this campaign, we beat them 3-1, so it is already 3-1 on aggregate. And we're at the Etihad for tonight's Champions League group stage game against Leipzig. Now, when we were over in Leipzig at the beginning of this campaign, we beat them 3-1, so it is already 3-1 on aggregate. And... Yeah, the mistake there is obviously Leipzig and Man City are in the, the same group this year. So there's no aggregate. It's not a two-legged game. It's just a group game. So, there you have it, basically. Round one, I think, which uh, of, a, of, a, of a fight which um, has got many people talking. Or an argument which has got many people talking. Um... My opinion, I'd be completely, I'm being completely honest here. I don't think I'm in a position to uh, to take any sides at the moment. Um, I've only been back in the country for what, five weeks now it is. Yeah, five, yeah, six weeks maximum. Um, and the little football I did uh, uh, watch for uh, 17 months before that, um, you know, it wasn't on UK TV. What I do, and I do understand uh, that uh, this argument has been brewing for quite a while, quite a while. Uh, but um, I need to educate myself more about the argument uh, before I cast my own judgment. But what do you guys think? What do What do you guys think? Be interesting to get some feedback on this. Okay, until next time. Love you all. Take care. Bye bye.